I just saw a new Indian action film, to be specific, Hindi action film, at the Toronto International Film Festival at Midnight Madness. Kill is interesting because usually when I think of Indian action films, I think of like the masala entertainment that centers around one star. It's all about a kind of lifting them up. And there's certain tropes that it hits, like musical numbers that everybody thinks that the star is awesome and he can do almost no wrong. And Kill is not really like that. It is technically an independent production because it wasn't made under the auspice of a studio even though it has multiple mega producers kind of putting it together including the academy award winner of stuff like the lunchbox and they kind of approached it in an interesting way because they are not well known for making action films to my knowledge especially not action films in this type and they must have just decided we're gonna do something that's like the raid but a Hindi action film that takes place on a train. The basic plot is a commando meets up with the woman that he's having a relationship who has been engaged to a man and they're going to run away together. But once they get up on this train, which is a really normal looking train, very claustrophobic and small, it doesn't look like it was designed to be shot on even though it actually was and was completely set up in studio. So they meet up together and then like 40 robbers just jump on the train. There's no other ulterior motive. It's not like there's a big reveal later on of why they're there. But they jump on, things go wrong, people die, and this commando ends up having to kind of save a bunch of people and also kill a lot of people. The thing about Indian action films, or at least at this period of time, is they've kind of been cemented in the slow motion. You see like a move and it's in slow motion, it's awesome, the music is blaring, and then it cuts to, you know, fast forward stuff. So you really only get the big moments and it's not really flow in their action scenes. Not the case with Kill. They hired a South Korean team to choreograph the actions and work on set, and you can absolutely tell there's that kind of like sloppiness, but also high creativity, and most importantly, hyper violence to all the action that happens in this movie. You know, what makes a good action film is really specific to every person. I know that like my favorite action movies are usually ones that have an individual character, that there is a kind of sense of momentum, and that are lean. Now, after saying that, you could point out, but Justin, you love this action film, it's like two and a half hours long, etc, etc. But like, I'm only responding to like, the movie that was in front of me and what really, you know, clicked with me. And Kill, boy, it clicks with me. After a very quick setup, like 10 minutes, we're on the train and things start off just going off. And you have this hero who, at first, trying not to kill anybody and using every surface of the train to his advantage. The people making this movie, they really molded this into something genuinely interesting when it comes from an action standpoint. Every sound effect is on par, like gunshots, whooshes, hits. They're all crunchy and over the top in a way that I feel like this kind of thing they need to be. The music is almost Mickey Mousing what's happening, commenting and really creating a flow with all of the action as it played out. And there are like a dozen fight scenes in this movie, each of them finding some interesting new way to make it exciting and use the space. So like it is a little long for what it the movie is like about 110 minutes but in terms of like indian action cinema that is like 60 minutes because usually they're about three hours long at an average so this is a movie that like i gotta stress again it's simple it's straightforward the main performance uh by the commando guy is great because he basically seemingly does most of his own stunts and you can really see it uh, on screen, taking these falls, smashing up against things. The action just escalates as it goes along. It does kind of end a little, well, I don't want to say anticlimactically because there is a big fight, but you've seen so many gore gags by that point that you're really not sure, or I didn't know where else it could go. And I was kind of hoping, oh, well, what are they going to do? And it doesn't really do anything. I think a lot of people may find this one conventional because like it does what it does. And it doesn't really surprise other than the levels of, you know, hyper violence that happen after an amazing title card drop that comes like an hour into the film and really breaks up both parts 
letting you know, okay, now things are really getting into that kill mode, and boy, does it deliver on that front. I'm curious if a film like this can have the kind of cultural, you know, breakthrough that something like The Raid did. I mean, when I saw The Raid at Midnight Madness, I didn't really think that it would kind of like pop off in the way that it did and kind of define an action cinema for 10 years. I don't know if Kill can do that just because it is very Raid-like, its premise is very Raid-like, and if it's defining anything is more like violence that can happen in these kind of movies, but I would love for it to become a mega hit and even have people in India kind of reconsider how they shoot action. This kind of sloppy, creative, and brutal stuff, while still having humor, like that's very important about this film too, is that I want to underline that like, it's funny, the villain is super funny in it, he has tons of quips and personality, and that like even as the blood flows, it never kind of loses that amusing and entertaining edge. And for like this kind of action movie, there's that right wing perspective because there's like so much death that happens and you even get a little bit of satirical stuff where the villain is very aware of this fact and makes it apparent a few times throughout the movie being like, what is going, how is this fair? He's killing so many of us. So kill, it's great. Uh, I could keep talking about it, but I don't really want to spoil anything, and I, I, I don't want to hype it up too much either, because, like, this is the kind of thing that when someone finally watches it, they may go, oh, that's it? But, like, ah, it just does it so well. And, like, with the audience last night, they completely popped off, cheering throughout, really involved in it. And, yeah, that's what you want at these kind of midnight experiences or just martial arts film experiences in general. This is the kind of film that, like, if I stumbled upon it when I was in my teens... I would have been like, oh, all my friends need to see this because they're completely going to lose their mind.